Bring us in, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, we can officially say it because we're back. We've been, <laughs> That's right. We've been gone a while. Yes. So now, welcome back. <laughs> so now it's appropriate to say we're back it. versus it's been a, a whole seven days. <laughs> That's a long time away from you guys. It is. You're right. It That's is. Right. It is. So That's it's right. the new year. Can you believe it? No. Where did 2022 go? I don't know. But I feel like once yeah. Thanksgiving hits, Me I'm too. in a time warp until january 1st i absolutely agree like so fast you just yes you blink and it's gone yes i was just talking to somebody about that before christmas that you know you feel like you have all this time leading up to it and christmas comes every day every year the same day so i guess it's a surprise (laughs) but it always feels like a surprise it does it's like oh wait it's here it's christmas (gasps) and then it's the new year yes I think here we, we are. Here we are. I think we mentioned it. Let's early cheers to the new oh, year. Early cheers. Yay. Happy 2023. <laughs> so because it's the new year, we have a champagne cocktail. Love it. And I called our friend Shara. So pretty. Well, I didn't call her a Facebook messenger because I'm not a savage. I don't call people. Um, <laughs> so I sent her a Facebook message and said, we want to have a New Year's cocktail. Um, so something champagne yes. bubbly, obviously, because we like the bubbles. Me but I too. need it to be simple. Yeah. Um, because we're still coming off the chaos of the holidays. Yes. So I don't want to have a fifty ingredient cocktail. And she immediately <laughs> replied, Saint Germain. She was that. like, just add a little bit of Saint Germain and it'll be a game changer. So this is a cap full of Saint Germain, Prosecco, and a lemon twist. That's all it is. So simple. So very simple and, and delicious. And I've had Saint Germain before, but never like this. Like just this, you know? I feel like I've had one experience with St. Germain, and I want to say it was in a margarita. Really? Maybe. Ooh, okay. This is how much I don't remember of the occasion. <laughs> my sister made it <laughs> for me and my college roommate. She, We were all in Albany at the same time for some reason at my parents' house. Yeah. And I, I blame the St. Germain, not the number <laughs> of whatever it was that she was making us, but just St. Germain specifically that escalated the situation so much. I love that. <laughs> but that's the last time I've had it that I know I of. It. That's right. That I made. Right. I mean, it may have been in a cocktail or something like that. Yes. I didn't know it, but that was the last yes. time I knowingly, actively <laughs> drank it. I love so it. So we'll see how this works. <laughs> so if far, by so the good. end of the episode, I'm on the floor. <laughs> it's the Saint Germain for sure. So far, so good. So I we're starting it. a new year. It's a new year. It's almost like, you know, some podcasts, they do like seasons. I feel like it's like a new season. Mm-hmm. You know, here we go. It's a new year. Might as well be. New season. Season two. How many episodes have we had? I don't even remember anymore. Is this 15 or 16? 16. Thanks. 16. This is when we have being happy. 16, 16 seems like a good round number to say season two. Tie it with a bow. That's We've fine. had 16 or this is 16? Oh, oh so, so 17, 17 seems like a really bizarre yeah, season Yeah, we're going to have to wait. This right. is not season two. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> but it is a new year. It is a new year. It's exciting. So what do you do for the new year? What do you do for the new year? To bring it in. Ring it in. Ding, ding. I go to bed. <laughs> Are you asleep at midnight? No, no. I like to watch the ball no matter where I am. Okay. So I may be at home in my PJs, stretch pants or whatnot. But Rocking New Year's Eve? Rocking New Year's Eve. Dick Van Dyke's Rocking New Year's I Eve? I honestly flip through. I'm okay. like... You know, because I like to catch them all. Yeah. I think they're fun. But, um, so we don't always have a lot of plans on New Year's. There's been a few times we've been places, but the past several have been at home. I know it's been kind of crazy the past few years, but, um, which is not really fair. But, yeah, at home in my pajamas and... (laughs) I always want to do something grand for New Year's. Like, I want to, like, get dressed up and do something. But in reality, I'm tired. I'm tired. (laughs) I mean, do you I'm know so what time that is? It's so <laughs> midnight. Like, I, when I first had Barrett, he wasn't in school yet, so he had to have been younger than four. The library did a noon year's party. Ooh. You don't see that Where cool. you counted down to noon on January the 1st. Oh, that is cool. Um, and it, I feel like we need to do that as adults. Like that I need so a, cool. I need a noon year's party. I'll, That's right. Like I will 100%. party all day. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to go to sleep at night. A hundred percent. I am absolutely that way. I'm just tired at night. So we go to my friend Brandy's house um, for New Year's, but we also typically go to my friend Brandy's house every Saturday. <laughs> so it's really not that anything different. And this year we did like a sequence type thing. Oh, yeah, yes. So, but again, it just seems, it just seems a little weird. But I mean, to 
but it was it's always so fun to get yes, together and you exactly. add a sense of occasion to it that's right you know jeans and his Makes t-shirt and joggers and <laughs> as always <laughs> one shoulder sequins <laughs> oh, get yes. up but bling, it's bling. fine <laughs> um are you a kisser it. at new year's do you and chad make sure to kiss at new year's yes like the new year's kiss we, tradition we do we, we i would say yes I, I there might have been one that we haven't but yes we are yeah what would you I do i wonder where that came from i don't know i need you to look at TV. that Oh, Maybe man. that's probably where it is. Yeah, I, Just, I need to look and see where the uh, yeah. tradition of kissing. You see everybody in New, New York Year's. kissing, so hey, you do. <laughs> it's probably where COVID started. Oh God, <laughs> the ball drop. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we do. We do. We yeah. do. I mean, not anything. But. <laughs> I just about <laughs> lost my drink <laughs> right here. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> okay, very good. I love it. <laughs> Do you make resolutions? I try. Okay. You know, I think you and I talked about this a little bit. I try to make some resolutions, but it's so hard to really dig into those and make them last past January. <laughs> I know. If they go past January, that is You're good. winning. 100% So I winning. tried for a few years to not do New Year's resolutions, but do birthday resolutions. This is a new oh, year good. of my life. Yeah. So what I'm yes. going to do for this new year of my my, my life, Ooh. it didn't work out any better. Oh. Well, that's no good. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can appreciate that being in our 40s, though. Yes. You know, like, like I feel like probably when I was thinking about a word for the new year, I feel, I truly feel like. I was thinking about my age. Like, here I am at 40. Mm -hmm. What do I really want to do with me (laughs) moving forward? (laughs) We interviewed somebody recently, and they made a comment that I'm on this side of my career. Yes. Not this side of my career. (laughs) And I thought, oh. Oh, no. I'm like that with my life. And I don't. Like I had like a deep I had like a deep life moment like wait am I on am I on this side like, of my this career or this side of my career Is this me? Yeah like where am I at on the mountain Sarah we are a little bit over on the other side You shut your mouth I know it's just brand you new here uh, But it is a little eye opening when you hear something like that it is. like oop it is because she's not Ooh. that much older than us No 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 not so, at all Yeah uh huh I felt I I felt that <laughs> So what are you going to make for your new resolution this year? And why do you think they don't work? Do you set unrealistic ones? I think it's unrealistic. I think, you know, I think way too big. Yes. Like I'm going to exercise every day or, or, or like do like do something massive like that, you mm-hmm. know, and where that can seem so easy, it's not, you know, like, or I'll be like, I need to lose 15 pounds or in three days, in three days. Like who does that? Right. I don't know. But I, they just don't stick. They don't stick. And then I divvy from what I'm trying to do Mm -hmm. and it there I go I'm off the bandwagon immediately (laughs) so I bought a um, planner and I think it was two years ago and I don't even know if you consider it to be a planner um do you want to just kick her out and close the door oh okay I'm sorry (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry sorry. okay I am. She's, <laughs> I, just, I can She's introduce like, her if I need to. <laughs> She's okay. so pretty. Okay, I'm sorry. She's so pretty. So I bought a planner <laughs> two years ago. Um, it was a Rachel Hollis planner. Okay. Yes. And she wants you every day. Oh gosh. To write down <laughs> ten goals, the same ten goals. Oh. The same ten goals okay. every day. Okay. Um, of what you're going to do over the year. Okay. Because every time you write them down, every time you look at them, eventually you're going to be annoyed to keep writing them down, and you're going to do them. Okay. Well, I just stopped writing them down. I got that's annoyed ten. with writing them down every day, and I was that's, like, okay, well, I'm not going to write them down anymore. That's ten goals every day. Yeah. Wow. Well, you only come up with the ten initially. But then you have to keep but writing them over But ten goals over. for the year is a lot. Yeah. Um, it is. Or I feel like. It is. So I didn't even make it through that. Because I was like, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do some of the things that were on here, and I don't yeah. think I did any of them. Because um, I think we set such unrealistic expectations That's, for so ourselves. True. And they're always around for women. Not always. I hate to say it's probably not for everybody, but wait. Wait. Let's lose weight. Exactly. And Gene gets on to me all the time. He calls me a Mondayer. Don't be a Mondayer. Oh. Don't wait till Monday. 
to start your diet, to start your exercise program. Oh, I'm always bad about that. But who wants to start something on like a Thursday? Because then you got to get to the weekend. And And the weekend's hard anyway. The weekend is the time to eat all the bad stuff in the refrigerator. So you can start off healthy because all the bad stuff is gone. Um, Yes. And in this economy, you can't just throw it away. No. I mean, you got to eat it. You can't waste 100%. it. Hundred percent. So I have, I have, I need some days to consume all the Oreos before I get my life together. Um. <laughs> That's exactly right. I agree. I agree. It's hard. It is. It's hard. And I do think women, like you mentioned, is like we we're hard on ourselves anyway, mm-hmm. and so we try to make that goal. Like this is this is going to be the new year for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Whatever it is. Right. And then. And we fall off. So I found a podcast, which I told oh, you about. I love it. Uh, Jenna Kuchar is her name. Gold Digger. And she has a podcast called Gold Digger. Gold Digger. Uh-huh. And G-O-A-L Digger. Uh, it's right. G-O-A-L. Yes. We're Southern, so we're... it may still sound like we're saying Gold did, did you Digger. Hear us? Gold. Gold Digger. <laughs> and so she had an episode about um, she's lost some weight. Yeah. And she's yes. been an Instagram figure. And I found her on Instagram several years ago. I've been following her on Instagram okay. forever because she was so body positive yeah and she wasn't a stick figure yeah her husband is a very fit guy and she made an instagram post about people slid into her dms about why is your husband with you Uh, when he looks the way he looks and you look the way you look oh my god and so she made this whole post about well he's with me because i'm a human being with a personality that he's attracted to. That's right. And, yeah. you know, it doesn't have anything to do with the way that we look. Right. Well, time has gone on and she has progressively lost weight. Yeah. Um, and so people want to know how she's lost weight because we all want to know how to do it. That's right. Because obviously right. you did it overnight and whatever you did, that's what we want to do. We want to lose the weight overnight. So she did an episode of her podcast about her health journey. Mm-hmm. And she mentioned that for her, it wasn't about weight loss. It was about finding energy. Yeah. So yes. she was trying to do things to be healthier, to find energy. Yes. And a byproduct has been weight loss. That's right. And so I really started trying to think about how I look at that. Yeah. Um, if I want to lose weight, why do I want to lose weight? Because I want to feel better. Right. And I want to look better, yeah. obviously. But feeling better needs to be the priority. That's right. That's right. So I'm trying to make some resolutions around what would make me feel better. That's right. And then let the weight loss be a byproduct. I love that. So, She's so good. Yes. I do love. I have y'all definitely just need to check her out. Become obsessed with her podcast. Yes. And every episode, it's not all about you know um, no health, health. It's really about her journey and others' journey who have started in a place where you would never imagine, and then make uh, it's um, unbelievable where they've come from. Right. Like their whole journey. It's just incredible um and it's all about health it's marketing it's business it's money management it's so much it's so many things and so um i do love her i i I immediately the first episode i was like connected she's very easy to connect with very easy to connect with because it took me years to actually listen to her podcast i've been following on instagram forever yes um you know she'd shared her infertility struggles yeah she's just very real she is yeah and that that reminds me even today we talked about it we finished our book Mm -hmm. um beginners plug and we talked about it before um but you know we talked about vulnerability and social media Mm -hmm. and i thought about that being a word to uh, you know for 2023 about vulnerability you know i feel like they're the influence that i now are drawn to are those that really show that vulnerability Mm -hmm. like they they'll show themselves with no makeup right they show themselves with they're not put together with a holy t-shirt even though those are like in style now right you know um but that's what you you do that's what you do (laughs) you know and and i love that about them but now they can become super polished and you're like oh my gosh i wish i was them but but there's a lot of them that they're just showing their everyday their house is a mess Mm -hmm. their their kids are everywhere it's i mean it's really chaotic and i love that about them do you know how i also i have a new tick mark in the year old lady column (laughs) um (laughs) is golden goose shoes oh yes because i can remember my parents telling me you're paying money for jeans with holes in them you could have cut some holes in your jeans for free (laughs) um and now i'm like you're paying money for dirty Dirty shoes." shoes Yeah. Like, can't you just and walk out those. outside and get your shoes dirty for free? Like, mm-hmm. so this is like I was like, mm-hmm. oh, dude, I'm old. <laughs> like, this is where it comes from. This is from. where we are. Old ladies. Another tick mark. 
So you mentioned word of intent or yeah. a word. Yeah. Going yeah, yeah. Back to a word. Have you picked a word for 23? Do you pick a word every year? No, I, I haven't done that always. Okay. I've not done that always. Um, but this year I felt like, again, I thought about my age again. It was, I don't know why I keep thinking about, you know, I'm the one who said early on, like, ooh, when I turned 40, it was great. Everything was fabulous. You I did was say fine. that. And I now was you're coming over 40. to the upside. Now I'm like, oh my God. Re- oh, you it sucks know, over here. It, it does. <laughs> it does suck over here at 40. <laughs> but no, from the, for truly for this year, I really, ha- there were several words that I thought about. Um, embrace is one of them. Ooh. Um, balance is the other. Mm-hmm. Um, and... And since I can't think of the third one, it doesn't need to be. Okay. <laughs> no, embrace. So obviously, <laughs> oh, were you going to do light? You were telling me about light well, before well, I was we started. Light, but, you know, I had written down that, that that was like 2022. Okay. You know, so. So 2022 ago. Tw- so 2022 ago. <laughs> that was so long ago. <laughs> but embrace for me was probably the, the best one. Because, I like that. Because, uh, A, I've got to embrace my age. I am what I am. This, this is who I am. And so, and I also. <laughs> Look at his face. Do you see his face? <laughs> <laughs> and then also, my I have to embrace where I am with my family, okay, my kids. I like that. You know, I have to. Um, I have to. You know, I th- I, as I was thinking, I was like, I have to embrace where I am with work, mm-hmm. um, where we are with this podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, I have to embrace that and be okay with it. You know, be Ooh, okay with where we are. Embrace it. You know, though things come up, and it is much chaotic as I don't know oh, it's just I it's a hot that. mess but embrace is probably definitely going to be my word the balance was trying to balance um family mm-hmm. and I think now we're in a position where we uh, I'm much better off than I was a year and a half ago yeah um as far as balancing work and whatnot but to be honest chat is not one for he doesn't love social media. Mm-hmm. No, he loves the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> but he is not into social media. Mm-hmm. And so I have to respect that and make sure I have a balance of, okay, he doesn't want to be the face of anything. And sure. so I have to be mindful of that. You know, so I need to be, you know, have the balance. Is he going to be that. okay being on a T-shirt one day? Like his silhouette with his beard that says the, the Chad, Chad on it. Is he going to be okay with a t-shirt one day? I know he doesn't like to be the face of anything, but he may literally have his face on a t-shirt one day. <laughs> and there's the Chad. That's right. And there's the, there's Chad. the Chad. The Chad. Literally. <laughs> literally the, the Chad. Chad. <laughs> I love it. He might die. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I think for me, those are my two top words okay. that I really want to focus on and carry them throughout the year just like I was talking about you about the light I, you know I, writ, I wrote that down in like I don't know right the December before the new year last year but where did that what right did I do with that I don't really right. know so <laughs> what I don't know I don't even know what I meant but anyway so what about you what about your word of intent so mine for the past at least two years maybe three has been peace Okay. I yes. picked peace when I was going through a very, um, I don't want to use the word chaotic because it wasn't chaotic. It was tumultuous, if that's even how you say it. Mm, yes. Um, dynamic shift in my friendships. Yeah. In my work life. Yeah. Um, and so I picked peace because I just had to ask myself, is this worth my peace? Yeah. Is this, is the energy that I'm putting into this work situation, this friendship, this, arguments yes is it the stress that's good is yeah. it worth my peace yeah um is go into this function that gives me anxiety worth my peace yeah and so that year i really did a good job at folk and make i made decisions on that like is this affecting my peace is you know and so it carried over to the next year because i just could not think of anything better because it had really worked out for me that year to focus on that but that's good. this year, and I may need to look at something else because when you call it a word of intent and my word I want to have for next year is intentional. I want to be intentional with my time. I want to be intentional with my attention. Yeah. You know, I want to make sure that what I'm focusing on is what I really need to be focusing yes. on and what I want to be focusing on. Yes. And I guess this is part of embracing the yeah. 40. Yes. And I know we mentioned this almost every episode, but yeah. Karen... Um, yes. When she talked about that, the freedom in 40. That's right. 
Like I really want to be intentional about what I choose to dedicate myself to, yeah, where I plug right. myself in, mm-hmm. you know, because you don't fit in every circle. That's right. You don't fit at that's every right. job. You don't 100%. fit at every, you know, table. That's right. So I need to be intentional about where I insert myself. I love that. Um, yep. I need to be intentional about inserting myself onto my Peloton bike so that I can <laughs> meet my fitness goals. <laughs> Man, those fitness goals. Because <laughs> that's another one. It, obviously, I... I would love to get to the mindset where losing weight was the byproduct. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. not the focus. That, <laughs> so what could I do? What That's what are right. things I can do? Yeah. You know, I'd like to, um, not that I'm ever going to be a vegan or give up Wendy's French fries, but <laughs> <laughs> I could, I want to be more intentional about what I'm putting in my body. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You know, because right. again, Jenna Kutcher talks about that in some of her episodes. Yeah. Um, she has one called Biohacking. Yes. And she's very upfront about the fact it's not for the average person. Yeah. It she is. Yeah. It's everything that she did is very expensive. Yeah. Except for she talks about getting blood work to figure out what type of supplement she needs that's to right. take. That's exactly right. Um, which that's an easy test. I think you yeah. can do that one of those male tests or whatever. Yes. Yes. So I'd like to make sure that I'm That's right. I'm looking at food as fuel and not an emotional crutch. That's right. You know, those types of things. I love that. Oh, so I want to be intentional. I but intentional, intentional is just not a pretty word. Well, so what's you know, a synonym for intentional that sounds better? Because like I almost went and got the word peace like tattooed on myself. I was ooh. so committed. I love how you use like, peace though, and you yes. you really used it. Like I'm right? not going to put intentional down my forearm or anything. <laughs> what does that mean exactly? <laughs> right, right. This Tell was me more. intentional. <laughs> No, <laughs> so I need a better word for it. That's that's what kind of what yeah. I'm thinking, but I need a better I word love for that. it. But I do love the word. But I, I am. But she, I don't know what she, I don't know what episode it was. But she talked about setting all these goals, which has me super jazzed up for resolutions. Yes, yes. But I'm gonna call them goals and not I, resolutions. I, I think goals is better. Yes, because I there. I don't think there's one resolution I have stated out loud that I have absolutely right. followed and right. achieved. So just goals. <laughs> been successful the new year sounds like a good time to set some new goals yeah i think that's a great uh, and again she does say it best I, I totally agree and i'm going to um start a swear jar i guess would You're be the best way to jar? do that i don't know i just have do you realized hear this beat? she's starting a swear jar i just have realized that i've really started oh. to use a few <laughs> explicatives oh. more than i used to mm-hmm. and i'm not really sure where it came from is it the comfortable work environment? Is it the fact that I've let myself just be stressed out about <laughs> nothing? That I feel like I can just let an F bomb fly yeah. on the whim. And I just, just Yeah. I feel it's a lot. It's a <laughs> lot. I do a really good job of not doing it around Barrett, obviously. Because yeah. I don't want him to go to school and be like, I you would know, totally be a rat. Like And it just come out. Yes. Um, yes. But it's not I don't want to be a Sailor, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna be a sailor. I'm not looking to Sarah. Be like Sarah the sailor. Sarah the sailor. Sailor the sailor. So I'm gonna really start, Sarah. I'm sailor gonna, the Sarah. I'm gonna start trying to not use so many uh, <sighs> four letter words. Oh, good for you. <laughs> so I'll need some help on that. I'm gonna help Office you on that. Mates, tell me to go put a quarter in my jar, and then I'll be able to buy a Louis Vuitton hey. by the end of the year. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I mean, the positive. This is a resolution that I'm setting for the rest of the world. Oh, yes. They can just get over my face. <laughs> That's you it. You heard it right here. I threw the sign away the that they chaos. made me at the office that said fix your face. I threw it in the trash. This is my face world. The, the, in 2023, the rest of you can just get over my face. This is it. <laughs> you know what? She's going to have it in 2024. That's right. 2025. It's going to be with me for a long time. It is going to be with you. And I do. I work myself up because I'm so concerned about the you fact are. that people you have think so I much come anxiety off that from it's it. this hard ice queen that's not me. No. So you can no. A, take the time to get to know me Ooh, and know that my good. face is just my face. Yes. Or B, because it's not, I hadn't started the jar yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can have off. <laughs> this is why she saved this for today. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start the jar tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's a great day. <laughs> so, but I worry about it so much. Oh, and I just, no. there's nothing I can do about it. 
You know what I thought? <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> you know what I thought about it? So Sarah was, we were talking about Sarah today at work being in her box. And I thought about your, um, uh, when we were on our retreat and we, we talked about your word being grace. Yes. Giving yourself grace. Yes. That is what we must all do is yes. give ourselves grace. You know, we are who we are. And at the end of the day, I agree with B. B said it best is just maybe just understood, you know, <laughs> and people do need to take time to get to know whoever right. it is. It's not just you. There's right. lots of people out there yes. that is absolutely in the same boat that is struggling with things just like you. Like, this is really just my face and I have really good intentions, but yes. at the end of the day, I can't change this, you know, so. So I'll tell you a funny story. One of my very best friends, um, we were not friends for a long time. Mm-hmm. We were both in the junior league together. Okay. Um, and I don't really know what ever brought us together to speak for the first time, but when we I finally did, she was like, I thought you hated my guts. Oh. And I was like, I thought you hated my guts. Oh. And she was like, well, you always look at me some kind of way. And I was like, well, you kind of look at me some kind of way. And so we just finally thought, like, oh, my God, just <laughs> oh my what gosh. would have happened yes. if we just would have talked to each other? Because she's in the same boat that I am. She has a very strong RBF. Yeah. Um, not intentionally, <laughs> yes. because she's the same way. Yeah. But it's just so funny. We joke about that all the time, that we would have been friends a lot sooner if it wasn't for our faces. Oh. Like, because we just thought the other one just, you know, didn't care anything about the other one. But and now she's one of my very best friends. So ah, I love that. So what are you going to do? For, for what? For a resolution, for a goal. I don't have any What goals. do you want to be? I want to just grow up and just, <laughs> just I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Episode don't over. <laughs> episode. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> and April's not doing anything I'm not new doing next year. I'm doing any goals this year. <laughs> April has nothing no, to I do. I have nothing to contribute <laughs> this year. <laughs> No, I still, I'm still contemplating on my goals because I really, I do, just like you, being intentional. I want to be mm-hmm. intentional in my goals and I want to set realistic ones that mean something mm-hmm. and I can, and maybe not so lo- like big, like set small goals, meet them and then set another goal, you know, like. Because I remember the days of, oh, I want to lose 50 pounds. Nope, that ain't going to be my goal. Every day. Nope, that one's not going to be my goal either. You can't use it always. <laughs> I don't think you can put no. always in it. No. Never. You can't say, I'm never nope. going to do this again. Mm-hmm. I'm always going to do this. Because you're not supposed to use that word in your marriage either. You know, when we had to go through our yeah. marriage counseling before we got married, you can't ever say always or never. Yeah, that's right. Because it's never it's never true. <laughs> you can't and always say goes. never or never. <laughs> always or never, but it, it's never true. It's usually not true. It's usually, it's usually not you true. You always do this. Do I always do that? Mm-hmm. You know, do I really no, no. never do that? So yes. That's so true. So I don't think you can that's put good. that in your goals either. No. No. I also want to meditate. Oh, that's a good one. I used to meditate. Did you? And I could really tell a difference in Sarah, that's great. my life. Yes. And the way I handled anxiety, the way yeah. I did things when yeah. I would meditate. It's just because it just, and however that, whatever that looks like, you can do a guided meditation. Yes. You can just, because I can't just sit in the quiet. So a guided mm. meditation worked really well for me to have yeah. somebody kind of tell you, that's quiet right. your mind. That's right. Bring it back. You know, they have that music that's intentional to, to steal yourself. Yes. Um, so I would like to get back to that habit. That's so good. Because I've, And if nothing else, just having that forced stillness, I think mm-hmm. really, because our days are just wackadoo. Your mind is yes. just constantly racing. Yes. yes. Yeah. So Jenna talked about a ball that people with ADHD can yes. hang on to when they meditate. And it tracks mm-hmm. your heart rate. Um and if your heart rate speeds up when you're supposed to be meditating, it'll vibrate. So it gives you something to kind of bring you back that's to right. that center, which I thought was that's genius. That's good. That is genius. Because that's always been something that I've issue, I've had an issue with. You know, even in a guided, I'd be like, okay, well, I probably have two or three minutes of this left. And then when that's over, I'm going to go do this, this, and this. See when really that you, mind, have to yeah. give, you have to give yourself permission to give yourself that 10 minutes. Yes. Or whatever, three minutes, yes. five minutes, however you need to start off. Because you can train yourself to meditate. I don't think you can start off with you know yeah. something super long if you've never done it before um, i think that's so good b yeah. do you meditate every morning every night i see i was thinking and night yes. Woo, for how I long w- yeah it's about 30 minutes wow. total or both times so you spend an hour a day meditating oh wow that is so good that's very good maybe that's gonna be a goal of my so 10 oh, minutes no, would be good much, 10 minutes is pretty much what i do yeah and typically i do if i do guided i do something like a gratitude or a calm yeah or whatever and what do you um, use to do that? Peloton. The Peloton okay, yeah. app has a meditation yeah, yeah, yeah. app. But there's Headspace. 
I was going to say, there's another um, app that I had that had meditation. I can't remember what the name of it was. but There's several yes, that have, yeah. you know, guided meditations yeah. in them. You can find them on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Because yes, there's that's one great. that's like, breathe in the calm, breathe out the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a quarter in the jar. <laughs> Here she goes. Here and there we go. <laughs> that one was good. So meditating is, a, is another one I'm going to add to the list as far that's as goals. That's good. Because it do things that make me healthier. That's good. Maybe my overall goal is to be a healthier, less high-strung, less explicative person <laughs> that happens to have that's an RBF. Good. But so complex. It's so Sarah, complex. It really Sarah's is. so calm, yet she looks. <laughs> like she looks. No. It's fine. It's your face. It's fine. It's just fine. I bet the Chad doesn't set resolutions. No. The Jean does not either. Oh, my goodness, no. Yeah. They don't no. care about that. Is it a woman oh gosh, thing, no. do you think? Maybe. Maybe. Do men set resolutions? Do you, B? Do you set resolutions? No. I have goals, but it's all Goals oh, yeah, yeah, around. yeah. Okay. So it's not based on, like, the new year. Yeah. I want to back off social media, except for the See, podcast. Me too. I, I, well, I wanna, Chad would like for me to do that, too. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to grow the podcast, and I'd like yeah. to focus on the podcast social and less on my personal social. Yeah, 100%. I hate social media. I cannot Man. put it down, but I hate it. Such a <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> it's so true. It is one of those things that just, yes. you just can't. It's like, oh. Uh it's a lot. I don't, yeah. Do you read paper books? Do you do, re- do you do reading? Do you like to read? Not so much, Sarah. Do you want to be a reader? I would love to be a reader. Okay. Well, I, would, I, be I would love to be a reader. Um, my my cousin is an author. Ooh. And so she has romance books that okay. she writes. And so I am like, I really want to be into that, you know. And mm-hmm. I will say now, I'm more into reading than I ever have been. Like, if you gave me a book two years ago, I would laugh in your face and be like, is this really a gift or like what are you trying to like? <laughs> do you do am not I supposed like to me? like I'm supposed to read this? Like what? What what's happening? You know. But um, if it, anything I enjoyed reading was more leadership based. But like now I am getting to like I think I probably would enjoy things that's not just leadership. But well, others. I ordered um, you and I both a copy of Jenna's book. Oh, now see, I could totally get into yes, her. So it's going to come 100%. in. hundred so percent. See, I loved Liz yeah. Bohannon. All the, I mean, I, I love, <laughs> I did. It's called How Are You Really? Oh, I see, yeah. But I almost, She talks about it on her <laughs> I almost podcast. hate that because we have somebody that in our in our lives, not, I mean, and when you, <laughs> when you ask him how he is, it's like, oh my God, please don't. Because it's always something like, well, my tooth is this <laughs> or this happened oh, no. or I got three flat tires on the way here no. and you know so it's, it's all it's so really when you ask me how they are you're just supposed to say fine that's right well you're just supposed to say fine I'm, I'm fine. fine I'm fine like I'm even fine. if you have to grit your teeth I'm I'll be fine. like Ross I'm fine I'm fine, <laughs> I'm, fine. I'm fine you just say you're fine yes you, yes so when it's really how are you really like I don't want to be like obligated you when really, you say really? how are you well you know well my gray, but my gray hair is showing. Yeah, you know, I'm a hot just, damn mess. I'm hot, what else? Sweaty all know? the time because I'm yeah, forty. I know. I'm I am like, so hot all the trying time. Trying to navigate these night sweats. God, who else out there is struggling with that? Because <laughs> oh, listen, I am always so like have been in the past so cold. So this mm-hmm. hot stuff is new to me. Like I'm like, what is wrong? What's yes, happening? Yes, because I have not been this way ever in my life. So it's because you turned forty. And you were so positive about it. So your 40-ness was like, ha ha, I'll show you. Here's some sweat. (laughs) 40s has shown me a whole lot of other stuff, too, (laughs) that I was not prepared for. (laughs) But hey, it's here. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we want y'all to tell us what your goals are for 2023. That's right. And I'm going to try to set some and let y'all know what they are. (laughs) We're not going to say resolutions because they're goals. I do love the goal. And let's I do all start love small. The goal. Please start small. Start Otherwise, small. it's not going to work. That's why they're not going to work. Because we yeah. set these grand, yes. unattainable things, which leads to the, I can't do anything. I'm a failure. Yeah. I might as well not even try X, Y, or Z. Yeah. So let's t- take small bites. Yes, I so love I'm that. gonna. I'm not going to say I'm going to meditate every day, but I'm going to yeah. set a goal that I'm going to start meditating three days a week. And I think whatever that's great. three days it yeah. has to be doesn't have to be back to back. No, you know. Yeah. And I'm going to cut out one thing that I know I shouldn't be eating. Not all the things, but let's start small. 
and see, and then you'll be successful with that. Yes. You know? Because if you start doing one, then you'll do eventually do another and then it'll lead to big, big changes. Right. But you have to start small. Baby steps. Yep. I Don't agree. expect a miracle overnight. It, it's unfortunate. There is no magic pill. Because, you know, you anything. see, like, you, I see that like, you didn't get to where you are overnight, so you're not going to get to where you want to be overnight. That's right. And when you think about it like that, and don't compare your journey to anybody else's. No. And see, I think social media makes us do that. Yes. And I, that is the one problem I have with social media, where people state, like, this is what they're doing, this is what they've done. It's taken them a while to get there. Right. It's not like, I know social media makes it things like it, it happened in an hour. Right. But that is not accurate. Right. You know, it's okay to take time and be intentional in setting those small goals. And do you know what happens if you don't make it? It's okay. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. No change. No change. No <laughs> There's change. no change, but you know what? This isn't the Hunger Games. No. Thank God. I mean, nothing happens if you Thank don't God. make it. Like, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You start over. <laughs> start over, people. That's right. you start start over. over. And that's the beauty. You can start over as many times as you need to. Yes. As many yes. times as you need to. It doesn't have to be. It's not a one and done. We don't get one shot. Uh, no. Yeah. Listen, I love when people talk about their failures because it takes so many failures yes. to have a success. Yes. And so people need to be mindful of that. And about make the it nose. something you, know? you no, 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 really no, no, no. want it to be yeah. and not something you think other people want you to do or something you should be doing oh, for somebody 100%. else. hundred percent. Your goals yep. and your yep. your resolutions, whatever you want to call them, should be about you and not anybody else. Because if you make it about that. somebody, if you're doing it for somebody else, you're never going to be successful. No. So if you're truly, your heart's not in it and you really don't want to, don't do it. Don't do it. And it's okay. Set it on something yeah. that you really want it to be about. Yes. yes. That's exactly right. I love so. that. I love it. So we're going to do a fun little challenge. I love challenges. You don't. I do. I don't. <laughs> I'm not great at them. But <laughs> I do love a challenge. <laughs> this is a challenge for our listeners, though. I love this. So we're going to have a blooper reel. Ooh. That is because, you know, we. I know you think we don't ever mess up and that it's just perfection <laughs> the whole time, but... <laughs> We mess up all the So we're going to have a, a, a challenge where yes. for the listeners. We're going to post a blooper reel only on YouTube. Mm, and I so like you have to watch the YouTube video and post what your favorite um, catchphrases that we say, whether it's y'all, literally, the Chad, something about leather pants. Yes. But something that you hear in the blooper yes. reel, reel that we're messing up on, um, <laughs> that's what you want to post on YouTube. Because you can make comments on the YouTube video. So you're going to post it on YouTube. Then we're going to yes. take everybody that comments and put them in a drawing. And we're going to give away a super fun prize. No, I do so, love prizes. Yes. So we will post on our Facebook and Instagram when the blooper reel is available yeah. on YouTube. But we're not yeah. going to post the reel on those social platforms. That's only right. on YouTube. Um, so you'll, you'll, you'll see that coming. So that'll be super fun. I know. I love this. So as a St. Germain fan, what do you yep. give it? I'm going to give it a five. Okay. I think it's good. I'm going to give it a four. I just it's a little sweet. It's very sweet. Yeah. And I didn't even put, I just put a little smidgey smidge yeah, in the St. Germain in there. a lot. No, but I just would have rather had a cup of Prosecco with a lemon twist. Yeah. Um. So that was good to me. Yeah. B, what'd you think? I give that a five. Really? Ooh. Way, way, better, way better than Bloody what? Mary. Oh, my oh. heart. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do like it. it. Yeah, it's good. So happy Thanks, new year, sure. y'all. Happy New Year. We're so excited to have you with us. It's going to be a great year, y'all. It is. And enjoy the chaos. <laughs>